lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five bearded dragon behaviors and what do they mean. So if any of your bearded dragons are displaying these types of behaviors, you will get an understanding on what exactly they are doing. So with that being said, let's get started with the video. Now, when walking by your bearded dragon's enclosure, have you ever noticed your bearded dragon's mouth being open so wide that you think something is going on and that your bearded dragon just can't breathe? Well, chances are you are experiencing your bearded dragon gaping. So if you're experiencing your bearded dragon gaping, this is something that you shouldn't be too alarmed by. Gaping is a normal thing that happens to bearded dragons. However, if you are noticing this too frequently, what this could be telling you is that the temperatures in your enclosure are too hot. Sort of like dogs when they're trying to cool down, they will open their mouth and just kind of you know, drool and everything. This is a way that the bearded dragon is regulating its temperature. It's not like humans where we could sweat and you know we cool off in that kind of way. You will notice your bearded dragon having its mouth open if the temperatures are too hot and it's trying to regulate its temperature. The second weird behavior that you might notice your bearded dragon doing is digging in its enclosure. Now you might be looking at your bearded dragon and being like, but there's like no substrate in my enclosure. Why is he digging? Well, chances are if your bearded dragon is a female, then it might be developing some infertile eggs. Now infertile eggs in a female usually are reabsorbed by the body, but if a male is present or if a male was introduced, or sometimes it might go through the process of laying these eggs. So providing a lay box for the bearded dragon to feel comfortable in there and for them to pretty much lay their eggs and not be so stressed out is important. So if you are experiencing your bearded dragon digging, then chances are your bearded dragon is a female. Now, if your bearded dragon is a male and it's digging, then it's either trying to dig its way out or it actually might be too hot in the enclosure and it's trying to dig to a deeper ground where it might be able to cool off. Now, the third weird behavior that you might notice your bearded dragon doing is choke. Now, this is something that definitely you should be alarmed by if you see your bearded dragon doing this, but sometimes after a big meal, you might notice your bearded dragon puff up its beard, and that is just pretty much a way that your bearded dragon is trying to swallow whatever it just ate. Sometimes when a bearded dragon um, is eating, they kind of like chickmunks store their food in the beer a little bit and then they will swallow it. Um, I definitely have noticed some of my bearded dragons do that when they eat a little bit too fast. So definitely slow down the meals that you're giving them as well as give them smaller meals and then space them out. That's another way. And you also want to make sure that after you've given your bearded dragon some food, that no food is actually stuck there. There's actually been situations where a bearded dragon just eats a piece of lettuce and the veggies are just stuck in there and they can't swallow it and someone has to literally take it out. So definitely be cautious if your bearded dragon is constantly trying to you know, regurgitate or cough something out. It might have something lodged and stuck in there. Now the fourth weird behavior that you might notice your bearded dragon doing is push-ups. Now, not all bearded dragons will actually be doing push-ups, but you might notice your bearded dragon doing kind of this downward motion where they're just pushing off of the ground. And this is a submissive pose. You would normally see the females do this if there's a male present, but male bearded dragons can do it as well if another dominant male is present as well. And if you have no bearded dragon, you just have the one and there's no other bearded dragon present, it might see its reflection. There might be something that's triggering your bearded dragon to be a little bit submissive in that nature. Usually this is also with a bearded dragon head bobbing or waving. It's another sign of possibly submitting. 
to whatever they feel threatened by. So if your beard dragon's constantly doing push-ups, not only is your beard dragon gonna be jacked <laughs> by the end of it, but your beard dragon definitely, you know, needs something to feel more comfortable. You might have to remove a mirror or you might have to remove your other bearded dragon's enclosure and put something to separate them so they don't feel threatened by each other. Now the last weird behavior that your bearded dragon may display that might freak you out is when your bearded dragon's eyes start to bulge out of its skull. I mean when I put it that way it sounds completely horrible and as long as your bearded dragon doesn't have some form of eye infection then this is sort of a normal behavior for a bearded dragon. Usually you will notice this when your bearded dragon is starting to shed on its head. You might start seeing some shed in different parts of its eye and it's bulging out so it could pretty much help the shed break off and they could pretty much go and scratch it in other places. Either that or they're trying to warm up the scales of their eyes. So it's completely normal if you see your bearded dragon's eyes bulge out. It doesn't mean that you know they're um, hurting or any kind of way as long as their eyes are not actually infected or there's no bites from insects on their eyes so you definitely still want to check to make sure they're okay but if you notice your bearded dragon just has these huge bulging eyes it's completely normal and i wouldn't freak out too much as long as it's not infected or it's not sick and if your bearded dragon's going into shed you're gonna notice this a lot more so hopefully this video helped you understand a little bit more about bearded dragons and their behaviors. If this video helped, be sure to like this video. It definitely helps this channel grow. It helps me be able to make these videos as well. So with that being said, I'm Lord Lion. Keep the blood pumping and I'll see you guys in my next video. Here we go. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification, hit that notification, hit that notification button baby, you gotta hit, hit.